Hi everybody, it's Sam here and I have box number 15 from the Papercraft Society. I've been looking forward to getting this one because this has been designed by our fellow design team member Linda Parker who's also on YouTube some of you might already know of Linda and she's put together this beautiful very pretty box so if you're new to the Papercraft Society these are a monthly subscription box and you can subscribe monthly, quarterly, six monthly, yearly there's all different ones that you can choose from and you can cancel at any time and I will link all of those links in the description box below so let's have a little look inside it says here craft up a storm craft up a storm the mess can wait and then you have your envelope and you've also got your more goodies inside the tissue there so let's first of all have a look inside the envelope so you can see on the box there that lovely you get silver little flowers and then this gorgeous pattern so that will be some of the papers in here so we have creativity really is the best medicine craftiness equals happiness and too many ideas and never enough time that's very true so we'll start off with the dies so i'm just gonna take one of the papers here so you can see them better so this one the main die on here is this one here and it will create a slimline long style pop-up box card and I'll show you the inspiration in the booklet shortly so that's what this long big die is here so you die cut two of these I believe I need to have a little look and it will make your pop-up box card so you get these lovely big flower dies here this one looks like a planter sign I'm guessing along with this one here that's really cute actually you got another flower and then you got these really lovely you got this beautiful scalloped edge die and then you've got the option to have these little like dots little circles detail you've got another detailed die there edge die and another edge die there so you've got three different options on how you can have your edges on this you've also got your matte layer dies here which have got stitch detail on them and then you have these are all your stamen detail and then you have some more flowers, the butterfly, which I'm just quickly glancing at this stamp here. There we go. I'm guessing that that die will cut that out. I like that they've got the happy here. You've got some grass here as well, so you can do something with that. So I need to have a little look at the inspiration. And then there's another butterfly die there, and there's that butterfly on the side. So again, I'm guessing that that will cut that out. And you've got another sprig there as well. So some really nice dies. I'm looking forward to having a play with this one. And then there's also a stencil. I'll pop it on the white, because you'll still be able to see it. So you've got this fence detail along the bottom. Then this one is flowers. You've got stripes, sprinkles, and polka dots. You can see those all there. Again, they're all going to fit perfectly, you know, along the panels here. Again, yeah, you can pop the stripes and stuff on there. So let's see what they've done in the inspiration in a moment. Then we have the papers. You've already kind of seen this one here, which is like these little dots with then smaller dots around them. So you get two of that one. You get this lovely gingham blue. It's like a picnic blanket or table cover, that's what it reminds me of. And then you have the design that's on the box, which is really nice, I like that one. And then you have this really pretty green, that's lovely. I had a dress like that, that print, it's really sweet. And then look at this gorgeous, you get, that one's more pink, and that one's a little bit whiter pink. They are beautiful, really, really nice. They're almost too nice, and they're non shed. You can see that, so really good quality. They're thick, that's about 300 GSM. It feels like there's two there, but there really isn't. That is how thick it is. That feels thicker than this one, so they are slightly different, but um, yeah, really, really nice. So you get those, and then let's have a little look at the stamps. So you can see here, so there's the dies that will die cut that one and this one here. You've also got that beautiful sunflower, but then that could also be, I can't think of the name of the other flower. It's on the tip of my tongue, it'll come to me in a moment. You've got, there's the butterflies there, you've got a bee, it's a really nice bee actually. Lovely little flower thing arrangement there. More little flowers, and then you've got everything, special day, retirement, get well soon, thank you, with love, you are my, 
then you've got birthday, Easter, wishes, and just for you, so, and happy. So you can really play around with your sentiments there. Oh, and with love, I don't think I said that one. And on your anniversary, I think I missed them as well. There's a lot on there. Love all the little butterflies as well. They're nice just to fill in little areas. There's a lot on that stamp set. I do like the thank you with the little banner around it there. I think that's really nice. So a nice selection of stamps. And then you also get these cutter parts here which are perfect for any garden lovers. Oh, and you've got a sheet of acetate because it's a pop-up box card, so you would use this to, you'll see it in a minute, in the inspiration for to basically have all of these pieces kind of floating or popping out of the box, but aren't they nice? These will all just pop out, and uh, I think that creates some pretty nice cards. So that's everything in the envelope, and then inside here, pretty colour paper there. So you've got these three colours here. So you've got a green, a yellow and a red. And these are your ink cubes. And I have a really nice ink cube storage box that I made on the channel. That These usually are very, very juicy. So be careful sometimes when you open them, because I have had some with a lot of liquid. Um, you know, it does come, you can see there it's kind of coming over the side. So be careful, but it just shows that there's a lot of ink in them and they're going to last you a long time. And they also will stack on top of each other. So if you are starting off, you know, they, they store quite nicely. So you get those two colours. This is Linda. So I'll show you inside some of that in a moment. You get a little square of flat back pearls there in the colours to match. You've got the pink, yellow and the blue. And then this is your information card. So this one says, everyone has the potential to make beautiful things. And these are top tips for die cutting. But that's always handy to have. I punch a hole in these and I put them all on a binder ring. In fact, I've got it just here. So this is how I store all mine. So you can see all the past months there. And um, there are, this, I have gone to these <laughs> because they, um, they've got some very useful tips, even the one, I can't remember what month it's on, but it tells you what black inks to use for different mediums like alcohol markers, coloured pencils. Sometimes I have a brain freeze and I forget, so it's nice to just quickly revert to that. So I will be adding that one on. So this is your colour card stock. And this is the first time that it's not a white core. It's always usually a white core. This is the first time it's not. So it's not a bad thing. White core you can do some fun techniques with, especially if you've got an embossing folder and you can sand them and you can rip them and you get that white grain. But these ones are just your colour core. Really nice weight. I think they're about 220, 230, 40, around that mark. So they're going to be great to obviously make your pop-up box card. But aren't they pretty colours? Really, really nice. Love those. And a little look inside here and I will go to... One of the makes that Linda's done, just so you can get an idea on exactly what this will create, because it's beautiful. That is an absolutely stunning card. So you can see there, that's that scallop edge detail. And then I love this one that drops down in the white, and then you see she's a lovely gingham. And then using the coloured card stocks here, she's cut all of the flowers out. And I think that's beautiful. I love the happy. I love how it fits perfectly, you know, within each of the scallop kind of curves there. Really, really pretty card. And again, she gives you step by step there exactly how to do that. And I'll give you another, you can see some different ones there. Let's see the bees. How cute are the bees? Really, really sweet. And it looks like she's extended the back of that. So again, that will all be explained. And then I'm not gonna go through everything because it's, again, it's always nice to have some surprises, but I did have a sneak peek before and I loved what Emma done, who is, like the coordinator for the boxes and she does a lot of the inspo for them as well but she done where is it this one so this is emma and i love how she's turned it into a shed so there's the pop-up box card she's used the pop-out pieces there so it looks like you know they're obviously growing out the uh the ground and then she's done used the fence stencil there that's the grass dye really like it i think that's so cool and again she talks you through exactly how she's done that was the step-by-step -step instructions and there's some card styles in here without using the actual box there's that one there and that's a shaker that's been done that's by Sasha she's on the design team so again really nice ways to use them I think it's a lovely kit I really do I think you would you know get a lot of use and enjoy this one 
Okay, so that is the December Papercraft Society box number 15. I'm not sure, I'm thinking this one's still available. <laughs> like I said, I have received them a bit later. I know all the subscribers already have it, but if it's still available, just check the description box below my video and there will be a di direct link to this box. And I'll also put a link in to the Papercraft Society so you can check out any of the subscription options if it is something that you maybe want to consider subscribing to in the new year. So thank you for watching. This is definitely gonna be featuring in my Facebook Live and I will hopefully do some tutorials and share them onto YouTube as well. So thanks for watching and I'll be back very soon. Bye.